She's been freaking out since my parents are gone on a vacation, but, you know, hopefully giving her a little bit of company. Yeah. It's like so much serum. So much serum. So much serum. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel I am Petra and as you can already see I am in a very different environment this is my parents house I am actually uh, house sitting a little bit for the weekend my parents are in Hawaii on a nice well overdue trip to visit my uh, uncle and aunt there and so I came out this weekend to take care of their pets. They have little doggy. So here is the puka. She is my parents' little, little darling. She's pretty cute. She's like half poodle and half chihuahua. So I don't know. She kind of looks like a little terrier, but I don't know. Anyways, are you so sweet? Look at her. Okay, anyways, but she's been sad. So they also have a cat, Pie Wacket, who is very lovely as well, but I'm not going to get her. She's in her little cat tower, so I'm going to leave her alone. But anyways, blah, blah, blah. Today I'm going to be doing this look with makeup that I purchased from good old grocery outlet. Do you guys have one of these? So I got a few makeup products and it is a discount retailer. So a lot of stuff that doesn't sell in regular stores will go to this store. I live in Portland, Oregon, and we have a bunch of these stores. So I don't know if they're just West Coast, if they're just up here, but I was perusing one day and I found like a makeup section and they have like a little bit of makeup and they had like face masks and they have like skincare and all this other stuff. And I actually bought a few things and I thought I would do like a makeup look with the things that I found. And everything I found was about 15 bucks total. So I created this whole look for about 15 bucks and which is pretty good because I think the foundation I got alone is probably in the like 12 to $13 range. So, you know, right there, it's like one product for the cost of almost this entire look. So I don't know, I thought it'd be fun to film something different. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Anyways, you guys will see, I'm gonna quit blabbing now and let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, you guys, so first I'm gonna start with the cheetah mask here. This is the moisturizing and lifting with collagen and fruit extract. And I'm really curious if this really looks like a cheetah. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this sucker on. This is by the brand Epiel K Beauty. So I haven't ever heard of this, but we're gonna try it out. And I believe this mask at Grocery Outlet was, how much was this? It was a whole dollar. It was 99 cents. Oh my gosh. It is gonna be like a cheetah mask. You guys see, it's like, here it is. Oh my God. This is gonna be kind of a mess. I should have grabbed some towels. Oh my gosh, do you see this thing? Do you guys see this thing? <laughs> oh, I should put my hair back. Oh no. All right. Grr. Oh my, oh my gosh. Okay, you guys. <laughs> what? Oh no, is it falling down? Okay, sorry. I only have the camera screen here. Okay, and this is supposed to stay on for like 15 to 20 minutes, so I guess I'm gonna do some other things in the meantime here, but um, but there's all this serum. I guess that's supposed to be the good stuff, so I'm gonna put some more of that on. It's like coming down on my mouth. You know what? I think it got pulled up the nose part. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I gotta have my little nose out. Moisturizing and lifting. I'm gonna pull this up just a hair. All right, so it's 1.37 in the afternoon, so I will see you guys in 15 minutes. Yay. You guys, this is not staying on. I feel like I look like old. Like, I feel like this looks like a mustache or something. Coffee. 
Don't get this in the coffee. I kind of like masks where you put on just the mask part and leave it on. Like, why did they make all this waste with all the sheet masks? I mean, do they provide some extra benefit? I don't really know. This is like falling down now. So now I look like I have like a beard. All right, you guys, I'm over it. I'm taking this thing off. This thing has fallen down. It will not stay on my face. So I keep having to go like this and it's driving me nuts. So, all right. So we are going to peel off the mask and I got a mirror. So now I'm going to be looking in here too, but I'm going to peel this off and I'm just going to set that down for now. And then I'm supposed to rub in this extra serum in my skin. There's a lot. I'm not... I mean, I guess I would maybe do this at night before I went to bed, not in the middle of a day and of the day or before anything. So I don't know. It does feel really nice and moisturizing. I mean, it's not like bad feeling. Ew. I have a breakout right here and it's so gross. I wish, I don't know what's going on with my skin lately and I've been eating better and I just can't ever seem to figure out my gut. It's so frustrating. Okay, so this is gonna be nice because it's gonna prep my skin for everything else. Okay, um, so now moving on to makeup, the makeup that I got from a good old grocery outlet. So I got a foundation and I'm not sure this is gonna match my skin tone, but it's a Super Stay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation, and this is by, it's right there on the front, it's by Maybelline, and this has, it's oil-free, it has titanium dioxide sunscreen, SPF 15. This is in the shade 85 Sunbathe. So here is the shade. I think that's gonna be a little bit too dark and probably, once again, too cool toned for me, but let's go ahead and open this up. And we're gonna go ahead and just start with this. So there it's coming out. So we'll just start with a couple little pumps. And then I'm just gonna take my finger and dab that. Oh yeah, that's way too dark. This was like the closest shade I could find. So you guys are gonna have to just suffer with, I mean, you can maybe luck out at Grocery Outlet and find a shade for you, or you're gonna end up like me and never seem to find your shade for a discount. <laughs> All right, and I'm just gonna actually kind of shear this out with my fingers first because I feel like my skin does better. Like, I just feel like this, the foundation rubs in better if I do it with my fingers. So maybe we'll bring this down just a little bit to kind of make the neck not look quite so, so bad. Um, I hate putting foundation on my neck though. I'll like not do it sometimes because I'll just try and make sure that the foundation is such a good match that my neck doesn't have to have it. I don't know. I couldn't find a concealer, so maybe using a concealer of my own, I can like brighten this up a little bit and help with the color not matching. Very good. So, hey, oh, whoa, sorry, that was the dog. I don't know what's going on. I think the cat is getting her feisty. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of concealer, which th they didn't have a concealer at all. So I'm just gonna use one of mine go in with the Infallible by L'Oreal, the Pro Glow. This is in the shade 4, Natural Beige. And it is this. And I'm just going to put that under. And maybe that'll help a little bit with this. Get it in my... This might help lighten everything up just a little bit more. I'm just going to blend this out with my finger too because I didn't really bring a brush. So I'm just going to kind of blend this out to highlight in my forehead. I don't know if this is actually light enough, but oh my gosh, the cat and dog are like running around chasing each other. So if you hear them running in the background, and Piwacket just ran to the cat thing up there, so... Okay, 
Okay, so we got concealer on. Um, and sorry if my lighting is a little weird. I'm just using like this window here. So I know that the lighting is probably not like making my face quite as bright as normal. So you're just gonna have to bear with me. I think I am gonna brighten up just a little bit more under my eye. I'm gonna go in with this Real Techniques. This is a, what kind of brush? Instapop crease brush. I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. And I'm just gonna go kind of right here where the shadow is for my eye because I like to kind of brighten in there after I've like kind of put like a concealer down to kind of just even everything out. Then I like to brighten where I need a little bit more help. For my darkness. I know it's even kind of hard for me to see in here today. Hi Wacket, what are you doing up there? The cat is always a little freaky. I brought my uh, Laura Mercier. This is a Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in the shade 2 and it looks like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on a little bit to maybe help with some of this. I feel like my face feels a little bit like it needs to be set, which normally I don't feel that way because my skin is so dry. But using that mask, I think really helped like or like really moisturized my skin. So I do like this powder. Unfortunately, Laura Mercier is not cruelty free, but I do love that under eye brightening powder. I haven't bought any more because it isn't cruelty free. So I'm using a Becca one right now, but I didn't bring it. So I'm gonna have to use this little elf one that I, that I do to set my under eye area. Got my face set. Now I'm gonna go in with under eye brightening powder by elf. It just comes in this cute little square thing like this. It's actually pretty good. I mean, it's not, it's not the Laura Mercier. Okay, so my video got cut off because, I don't know, my card was full and then I realized I didn't bring another card. So I had to go in and delete like some other video footage. So hopefully I have enough now. Okay, so I was going in with my e.l.f. Um, this is just an e.l.f. shader brush and I was taking that e.l.f powder, which I think you guys, I think it didn't stop recording then. So I'm just going in with this e.l.f. powder to set my under eye area to kind of help with any sort of creasing and hopefully not to look like, you know, 80 years old because sometimes I feel like some setting powders like make me look like I'm 80 years old. So that's never good. So I'm going to do my brows and then I'll be back after that. I am back and brows are done. So now I'm going to go in with some eyeshadow that I found at Grocery Outlet. Uh, this is a brand called Buys Eyeshadow. There's eight grams of product in here. It says not tested on animals though, so that's kind of cool. Um, but anyways, here is the eyeshadow palette. And it was like this whole palette that I got for a whole... I think it was like $3.99, actually $2.99, $2.99. So we're gonna see how good these shadows are. So let me open this sucker up. I liked the colors. They had like a darker, like a smoky eye. They had like one for light neutral eyes. And then I was like, oh, I kind of like the rose shade. So maybe I'll just try this rose shade. So it's in Saran as well as in that little packaging. I like that it's not tested on animals. We'll see how good it is. Of course it comes with one of these terrible like <laughs> these things which sometimes I think these are great for putting shadow on the lid but so I try not to be too much of a snob. So there's three matte shadows uh, this is a matte shadow and then the two darker are, sh are mattes and then these uh, five are all shimmers. So let's see. Let's see what the matte. Ooh, it feels really creamy actually. So this cream shade, it doesn't even have a name. So <laughs> these are nameless shadows. 
Uh, let's see, so this one is that. I don't know if you can see it. The light is a little bit bright there. So that actually swatched, I don't know. Surprisingly, these are pretty creamy. And oh my gosh, this pink one actually has a very slight gold shift to it right there. So if you can see it right here. So it's kind of pretty. And then this, oh my gosh weirdly not swiping too bad swiping not swatching this one's actually not quite very pigment not as pigmented as the pan so i just swatched this pink bright pink and that is this one right there and then we'll go let's see what about this there's like a darker so that was a bright pink this is kind of more of a brick reddish shade and it feels more pigmented actually so we'll put that oh that's kind of nice so there's that it actually is showing up a little more brighter on camera but it's actually got a more of a brick red um this other the shade down below i'm just swatching them all i guess so this one here so that one was this shade and then we just have the neutrals left the brown right there that lighter brown and then the darker brown darker brown is actually kind of swatching kind of crappy so i don't know we are it's like swatching a little bit patchy there but anyway so those are all of the shades in this palette i'm sorry i'm not very good at swatches i don't really have a very good transition shade here is the only thing so whatever i'm just gonna go ahead and wing it so i'm gonna go in with my uh, sigma e40 brush yeah e40 and i guess i'm just gonna go in to that neutral brown shade and i'm just gonna use that as a transition maybe i'll mix it with a little bit of the lighter shade so i can like lighten it up a little bit it actually comes on to the brush pretty good so we'll see how it does And I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of a basic look here. All those swatches on my hands. <laughs> that looks lovely. I should wipe those off. I think I'm going to deepen up a little bit in the crease with my Linda Hallberg 304 brush. Going to go into that same, just the brown shade. And then I'm just going to take that into the crease. I'm going to go into that bright pink shade, of course. we got to use that one. I'm going to go into to that shade there and I'm gonna put that on the lid but kind of I'm gonna keep it to the outer like I don't know or maybe like just half of my lid zoom you guys in just a little bit there so you can see a little better and these aren't laying down terrible and then I'm going to go into that light pink shade that almost has like a duochrome gold shift to it, which is kind of weird. I'm going to put that in the inner corner. Kind of fade these pinks together. I mean, I really am just doing a very quick, like, look at this. Because I just thought it was kind of fun to find, like, makeup at grocery outlet like what I mean you can find great discounted groceries there usually that are like pretty nice I don't know I've always really liked going there because I always find really good deals on stuff okay so I'm gonna go ahead and then just blend this out just a little with my Linda Hallberg brush I'm gonna go in with this like medium pink shade right there I'm gonna put it in between the light pink and the bright pink that I used to kind of I don't know, blend them together a little bit. Like I'm just gonna kinda tap it in between. I don't know what that's really doing. I mean, I feel like that shade's kinda similar to the light pink one. <laughs> Come on, this palette was three dollars. <laughs> three freaking dollars. Let's see, I feel like I need a little bit more cause my skin always hides. So I think I'm gonna bring up that my crease just a little higher so you guys can know that I have like an eye shape 
First, I'm gonna go underneath with that reddish brick shade and just see what that does. It's a different kind of red. We'll see, we'll see what happens. This is my Linda Hallberg 303. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with my, where is it, my Sigma E40, and I'm just gonna kind of very lightly take that on the edges. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with my e.l.f. shader brush, and I'm gonna brighten up my brow bone. And I don't think I brought a liner, so that kind of sucks. Can I bring anything? See, I wasn't, oh wait, I kinda, I did actually. I have this Ico eyeliner. I don't know if that'll go in my waterline very good, but we'll see how that does in the lash line. It's, um, I didn't get this at Grocery Outlet. This is by Ico, and it's a skinny liquid liner in black. That's the product, and then, I'm gonna see, yeah, I'm just gonna put this in my lower lash line for now to kind of give a little bit of definition. I mean, this should be safe for the eyes, right? Okay, so, so zoom you guys back out. I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes, and then I have a mascara that I got at Grocery Outlet that I am curious to try. So let me curl my lashes here. I always feel like curling my lashes makes my lashes so much longer and better. Foundation's still looking pretty good, actually. Not too bad, not too bad of a formula. I've never tried that formula before, so uh, the color's a little bit off, but maybe I could find it somewhere else because I've been trying to find like a drugstore price foundation. Okay, so this mascara that I got is this so Lashy Blast Pro Mascara by CoverGirl. It has a really weird wand. Bold, sexy lashes for all lash types. So this is what it looks like in the box. And that wand is like kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't know. It looks kind of like a torture tool for your lashes. Oh, no, you guys, it's kind of freaking me out. Okay, so here I am. Oh my God, the wand's not even like in the package with, it's not even in the tube. That's weird. Why is it? So it like came out in this part and then now the wand is like separate. Here is the wand. <gasps> like, I guess that inner wand part, you're supposed to be able to get your, maybe your inner lashes with that. So I'm gonna use this and see what this is like. So I'm gonna tell you how much this cost. It was uh, $3.99. So that was even more, it was a dollar more than the eyeshadow. <laughs> So zoomed you guys in so you can see this craziness. Oh my God. So it really coated this whole wand here. If you can zoom, focus camera. So it kind of coated everything. This is like frightening me. Whoa, but okay, okay, okay. I just think that my eyelashes are gonna straighten because I don't really do well with non-waterproof. And then here's this little ball thing. I'm gonna try and use that on my inner lashes, which I don't have many, so there's not many to coat. I don't like how this gets in the inner corner, but it doesn't, it's like, I don't have many lashes in there. And actually, I'm gonna cover this up because I got lashes too, so I'm just showing you guys first what this looks like with the mascara. If you can see that, it's actually not, Terrible. I mean, whatever. Gosh, if you need discount makeup, pfft, grocery outlet, man. I don't think there's anything that wrong with it. Okay, so then I also got some lashes, and these are called Select Lash, and they're wispy lashes, handmade, lightweight, comfortable. And here is what they look like. Uh, they even come with some glue, and this was a dollar. You guys, these were 99 cents at Grocery Outlet. <laughs> they do not say, I really hope they're not made from mink. It does not say they're handmade. It doesn't say, I don't know, maybe I can tell when I open them up, but it makes me a little bit nervous. Most lashes are not made with like 
I feel like mink anymore, but I don't know. I like these little lashes though. They're pretty. They're like basic. My lashes cost normally like four bucks or whatever. All right, let's see here. Oh my God, is there much glue in there? Oh no, has the glue dried out? Oh no, did it not like, oh my God, the glue is like not coming out and I definitely do not have lash glue. But you know what my mom might upstairs? <laughs> my mom wears lashes, so go snag some of hers. Yeah, the glue is like not coming out of this. Oh, there we go. Is that gonna work? Is that, oh, <gasps> the glue is like, you guys look, the glue has like turned to this like chunky stuff. Okay, so there's a downfall of Grocery Outlet right now. <laughs> is the lash glue is might be a little bit old, but let's see, these lashes are gonna be pretty when I put them on though. Okay, so I'll be back. I have to go get my mom's lash glue <laughs> to put these freaking things on. Okay, so I got my mom's lash glue, which I feel like she has better lash glue than I do. This is by Kiss and it's strip lash adhesive, formaldehyde free and latex free. It's clear and it has aloe in it. I've never seen this lash glue. I think she tries to find stuff that works for her though because uh, she's allergic kind of to the latex and I think I am too. It usually tends to make my eyelashes a little bit itchy so I don't know. We'll try this out and see how it works. The lashes are good, and usually that's what you're paying for anyway. You're not usually paying for the glue. Listen to me support grocery outlet. <laughs> okay. So one lash kind of on. All right, and to save some space on my camera card here, I'm gonna do the other one off camera and then I'll be back. All right, you guys, so I am back and here is the look with lashes. Um, pretty standard lashes. I was having issues getting the corner down, but I think it's like the glue I was using has kind of gotten old. So I am just kind of trying to make shift here, but the lashes are nice. I mean, they're, they kind of look like a pair that I use from Ardell and I'm sorry, a dollar for lashes, uh, is a pretty good deal. So anyways, all right, so I'm going to finish up. Let me put on some blush. I didn't get a blush at grocery outlet, so I'm just going to throw on one that I have here. So this is just kind of this cute little um, palette I got from, I think it was from an Ipsy and it's City Color and it's B Matte Blush and there's three different shades in here. It's like a peach, kind of a purplish light plum and then there is a more of just a basic kind of pink. I don't know, it looks kind of just like a neutral pink. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my Linda Hallberg. I think I'm going to go in with this, a mix of the purple and the pink blushes. And these are actually pretty, pretty nice. I really like this little blush palette. I actually leave it, leave it out here at my parents. Cause like if I forget makeup, then I have something out here. So it's something that I already kind of had here. I'm going to go ahead and blend it out just a little bit. This is my Morphe E2. This is a great powder brush if you want like a cheaper powder brush. And then the last thing I have is lips. And I got this lipstick from Grocery Outlet. This was a whole, how much was this? So this is a Color Sensation lipstick by Maybelline. Bold lip makeup in beautiful hues. I could not tell what this color was. It's called Orchid Ecstasy and it's in a package so you can't even see. You just get like this little little thing here, this little sticker. So yeah, Orchid Ecstasy. I was like, well, we'll chance that it goes with my eye look. I should have just got the nude, but I was like, no, it's so hard for me to find nudes that I knew that it probably wouldn't go well with me. So like, let's just go for this orchid shade. We're gonna try it out. If it doesn't match, it doesn't match. So let's just see how it goes. Oops. All right, here is the reveal. So there's the tube, standard little Maybelline lipstick tube. And oh, whoa, it's a very dark plum shade. Orchid. Oh God, it's like got kind of like a fuchsia. Eh, there, it's a little closer. Let's swatch it. Let's see what it looks like. Well, it's kind of like creamy though. It's got kind of a creamy, 
kind of feel to it. So there is that. I kind of like the texture of it. This is probably not going to really go great with my look, but let's just try it on. And I'm going to try and overdraw as I always do. This has like kind of a nice point on it. So I'm going to try and line or get a better definition. So there is the lip shade there. It's um, a little bit pink. So I really like, I'm liking the feel of this lip. Like it's almost like a lip balm. It feels like a lip balm, but it's like got more pigment to it. And it's just really lightweight on the lips. It doesn't have like a really bad scent. Sometimes I worry about these like Maybelline and L'Oreal, all those products. They have like weird florally scent sometimes, but this one just has like a really nice, I don't know, it smells sweet, but not like vanilla. It just has kind of a neutral smell. It's, you may want to do a different lip with this eye look, but I don't know, I don't think it's too bad, so. As my camera is starting to blink at me because the battery is about to die, I did bring another battery, so that's good if it does die, but still, I'm trying to get this video wrapped up. All right, so okay. this whole look together was a whole $15 of makeup that you would find at the drugstore for way above prices that you would find at Grocery Outlet. I mean, this stuff is probably about half or more than half off and you know, hey, you're cruising by the makeup and if you find something that you might like, pick it up. I mean, these lashes, I'll probably use the lashes again. The palette, I mean, this is probably not gonna be my go-to palette, but it was still decent for a whole $3. I mean, if I wanted to just throw this in my bag or leave it here at my parents' house or something, like to have like eyeshadow here if I need something and don't feel like bringing like a bunch of makeup, then I could use it then. So anyways, I don't know. It's been really fun to do this kind of video. Um, I don't know if you guys have a grocery outlet in your area, but if you do, I check it out. They really are like a bargain for several other things besides just makeup and they're more of like groceries. And I found like really good, like organic, good, healthy foods there. They have a lot of unhealthy stuff too, but I mean, it's all really pretty cheap anyways, but that is it. I'm going to just let you guys go here and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like these types of videos that this one was kind of fun to film. And I know it's been kind of weird being in a different environment here out at my parents, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So don't forget to subscribe and like and comment down below. I love getting comments and I will see you in the next video. Bye. My friends, my habits, my family, they mean so much to me.